And this, according to Archbishop Gordon, is the aim of the Lenten pillars, prayer, fasting and almsgiving to bring the faithful closer to God. Almsgiving, he says, has important lessons. Prayer, fasting and almsgiving work together. You can't work with one without the other. They're kind of like three interconnected realities. The prayer disposes the person to God. The fasting mortifies the body and so reminds the person that the body and its cravings and desires is not the most ultimate and the arms giving makes you reach beyond yourself reminding you that you are not the center of the world there are others who are in need and they are more important than, than you he says almsgiving covers a multitude of sins as this action opens a way to caring for the broken Christ. When Jesus explains this, it's, it's, it's quite a phenomenal passage because it is saying that insofar as you've done this to the least, to the poorest ones among you, you've done it to Christ himself. So almsgiving is a way of doing ministry to Christ himself. This is a way of, of caring for the broken Christ. His Grace says almsgiving also has a side geared to justice. We live in a time now when 99% of the planet owns less than the 1% of the top. And, and, and where the, the growing wealth of the few is so much more than the masses of our society. And, and when we live in this time of, of incredible injustice, the alms giving is also a reminder that, that what you're giving sometimes is not, is not an act of charity, it's really an act of justice. Yeah. Archbishop Gordon says give and give more, for in doing so is to minister to God himself, using discretion to sometimes give food and not money. As the resurrection of the Lord and Easter draw closer, Archbishop Gordon prays for the grace of God to touch the entire nation. Father, we thank you that we may celebrate Lent with every grace needed. Bless us, Lord, in the work we do, so that as we spread your good news, as we bring your message of joy and salvation to all, that we may find the way to your heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary Therese Bernard, TTT News.